morning YouTube, how's everyone doing today? We got our Duncan and we're heading over to a friend of mine's house. Uh, he's got an LOI also, so we are just an LOI gang up here in, uh, or down here in SoCal, I should say. Um, we are going to be tuning his, uh, he's got tunes already, so I'm not doing it, but I'm helping him. I got the V2, so we're gonna download tunes onto his truck. And I got some intake pieces that he's gonna try and make work so that way we can get him a little bit better airflow. He's got a pan and stuff first, so. Um, everything should work out all right though, so it'll be pretty cool. So we are heading over there now. We're gonna go see what we can make work and uh, it should be a fun little experience. All right, so as you can see, we're not tuning a truck right now and I will explain to you why. Um, so we ran into a little issue with the tuning process and everything, which is, we had the files, everything was fine. One thing I forgot that slipped my mind, and I'm fucking pissed because I forgot to ask him beforehand. Um, he had already purchased the VIN license for his buddy's uh, AutoCal, and I have my V2. So had we had his buddy's AutoCal, we would have been fine, but his buddy won't answer him or bring it over, and basically, it's not worth spending $125 on another VIN license just to tune the truck. You already spend $500 on tunes. Like, um, I wish he had waited to buy the VIN license because we would have been fine and uh, wouldn't have been any issue at all. But he uh, he had the, uh, the VIN license already authorized to a different controller. So that caused a problem. That's why we didn't tune the truck. That's why I'm not videotaping that because figured that out and that was kind of it. I did sell him my intake and uh, a few boots, so hopefully I'll paint those up. I gotta find some billet plugs, or one of the billet plugs I'm missing. We're heading over to Kenny's now to work on the Duramax some more, so at least we'll get something done today. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. What are you doing? Oil changes and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Honda Power. Honda. You doing it too or what? You look a little dirty over there. Yes. Sir. Getting into it? So we have the block set up for acid bath and we figure there's about 25 gallons of water in there and uh, there's like eight liquid pints to a gallon we only have one gallon of things, so there's not enough muriatic acid, but everyone's saying the acid's bad for engines anyway, so if it's a little light on the mixture, that's fine. Uh, you gotta be easy. Don't ever add water to muriatic acid. Add the acid to the water, or else it'll boil and get really hot, so you wanna keep it cool. Make sure you don't splash on yourself. It will burn you. Um, but basically, pour the acid in, and then we're gonna lower the engine down and let it sit for like 10 minutes and see what happens.
right, so there it is. We're cleaning it. We gotta finish power washing all the acid off. But uh, it's looking good. It's looking like a brand new block almost. It's crazy. So I don't know if you can see. We'll flip it over after, after I wash all the crud off. So we're gonna get all this nasty stuff off. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, hone the cylinders out. So that's why I'm not too worried about the rust. You gotta dry them. And then, uh, then we'll, we'll hone them out. Probably put some oil on the block uh, and the cylinders. And then we'll maybe paint the outside of the block today. So it should be pretty good. So my book is telling me this thing shouldn't be honed. I'm gonna hone it anyway, it's got a little imperfections. We're gonna clean up some carbon. So uh, basically we got the hone set up on the drill and uh, you just put it in the cylinder and you want a cross hatch pattern. So we're gonna go up and down. We gotta get rid of this rust. So uh, you're just gonna go up and down the cylinder and uh, it should scrape that away. So we uh, honed all the cylinders now. So we're gonna take some oil on a rag and just kind of wipe them down. Uh, I'd say it's looking pretty damn good. So I'm gonna oil them and cover them and hopefully that's that's that. So we're we're about done for the day. Uh, we just gotta clean up. I gotta go to work. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope if you ever want to build a Duramax, this helps you. So if it does, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and we'll see you guys later.